Hi everyone, it's uh, Sunday morning here and we're now about, what, like five, six days into the full lockdown. Very pleased that tomorrow we're going to be going back to having classes online. Uh, decided to take a few days off of pretty much everything, just, you know, try to relax and get things figured out and get my head back on straight if I'm going to be going back to teaching pretty soon. Um, spent some time watching the new Netflix series of Tiger King. And I know there's a lot of announcements and reviews of this series, so I'm not going to really do a review. I just want to kind of poke at one um, narrative point that I found throughout the whole series. And that is, none of these people at all could be ever considered to be the heroes of any of these stories. So every single one of them is just completely atrocious in some way. But I think that there's one thing that uh, people really forget when they're writing good villains in narrative. And that is a villain doesn't think he's a villain or that she's a villain. And if you watch Tiger King, the one thing you notice is every single one of these people, no matter what horrible things they're doing in their own minds is the hero. I think that that's really creative from kind of a narrative standpoint. And it's something that we definitely see in actual narratives because nobody you know comes out and is the the quintessential you know storybook villain there isn't that the best villains are ones where they have a motivation that makes them seem heroic and if you watch through that series the entire time every single one of them is trying to portray to everybody else i'm the hero and here's why and whether they're trying to justify it to the audience, whether they're trying to justify it to other people around them, or whether they're trying to justify it to themselves, every single one of them is the hero in their own story. And I think that out of that whole series, that's the one thing that I, I really highlight and want to take away from it in terms of uh, what I teach to students in terms of video game narrative, is you cannot kind of have this you know cookie cutter black and white characters all the time. You need to have a motivation that says, I'm the hero, and here's why. So, that's just a small thought on a Sunday morning. And everybody stay safe and wash your hands.